let's take a look at how to work with tibbles in our language so tibble package is what we are going to look at so tibble is basically a much better form of a data frame the things that you can't do with data frame are easy to do with tibble and also it's more uh, comfortable to work with tibble when you are dealing with a package like tidyverse deployer and you can use tibble instead of using data frame so let's see if i have it installed so if i go to my R studio and check table you can see it's already installed along with tidyverse and deployer so let's also take a look at deployer that package is also installed so two of those packages are installed for me so what i will do is i will just directly go to console and call them out right so table and next is library deployer so get both of them ready right so packages attach let's clear console and come to the part where we can create table to show you how it works so we'll type in the table function x equals to letters right and then we will also pass some value to our y for 1 to 26 and then we will try to output xyz form of data so let's go with z where sample is from 100 choose 26 right and if i close this out and hit here you see it will output the table in the form of tableau data so you can see that it's not better than your typical data frame already so there are 16 more rows but it will show you by default 10 rows within your table right so whenever you do something with your table it will try to output uh, those default 10 rows right so another thing is that when you use table and say xyz right when you pass on those values separately and use x y and z it should output the same content that we have previously got from the output right so if you want you can try this out as well so you can get x separately letters y then z and then push those three into table function right separately so both of them are going to do the same job so it's better to just get them as a parameters within your table function or method right now another thing is uh, how to check whether a particular set of data is table or not so in that case what we can do is we type in is table and then we pass on empty cars right so if we enter this it should give you false it's not a table right it's a data frame so it will show you that message similarly if let's say each table and here if we pass on something by making it table right so if i make empty cars right if i make that table and then pass on to check whether it's table it will show you that it's true which is obvious now the next thing is there are multiple ways to view your data right so let's say if i clear the console and call for data like iris sorry forgive me for that error so let's say if i call for iris data also if i try to get the data from empty cars let's say empty cars right so we have two data sets here so here what i will do is i will try to get a glimpse of this data so glimpse is the function that you get from table so if i try to get glimpse of this empty cars data you can see it will show me the glimpse of this data similarly i can do the same for iris and iris is much more easier to view and here you see iris data right so those five uh, columns one being for species then sql and petal length width within iris 
right so you get the idea how to get the data viewed so now what we will do is we will take a look at multiple ways your table can be created sorry so multiple ways through which table can be created and you can manipulate them by modifying one of their rows and columns so what we'll do is uh, let's take a look at different way to enforce a table right so let's say if i create dt and then call data iris right within the dt right so if we check is table it should tell me that it's not right so it's underscore table and within that as table as we have done it previously we'll pass on dt here and we got it as true so what further we can do is we can also use one more way which is called in frame which is to convert, uh, convert your data frame into your table right so if we choose to use uh, dt right so currently which is already within table we'll have to change that so let me clear console to show you right so in frame so let's say if you have data which is basically data frame that shows data one two three right and i have to convert this right and here you see it is converted into table right so what if i want to deframe it now next thing is using deframe which takes table input and where we use value for a one two three and try to convert this table back to frame right so we get the value back to the frame similarly we can also have complicated uh, table data into this for example let's say if i want to create a table that contains x is equal to one to five then y equals to let's say simple as one and then uh, z equals to some equation right so which makes things a bit different right x tends to two plus so y right and if we try to output this we get our table so even mathematical equation should give you a much clearer data within your table right so there are multiple ways you can create table something you find it not so easy to create within your data frame so what we have seen so far how to create table how to um, verify whether it's table or not how to create a uh, table out of function or create it using n frame function and also convert your table into back to data frame using d frame so we have seen that next is we can also add rows and columns within our table so let's try that now let's see if i have a data frame that takes table input x 3 1 2 3 then y 3 to 1 right and then uh, if we try to let's see get percent little than sign percent and then add underscore row method to add let's say x equals to 4 y equals to let's say 0 this will be added at the end of our table and if we hit enter right if you will see that it, it has added this so what if i don't want this four zero at the end and instead i want it after two right so i can do that so let's see df percent sign then greater equal greater than then percent again then add underscore row and then x equals to one two three right and then uh let's sorry but here we have to only give the values which we wish to add and not referring to that right so four to five 
and y equals to 0 and then we also have to use dot before and specify at the value right so say it says before 2 so that will be added and here you see before 2 it gets added these two values 4050 0, 0, right so you get the idea how to add your row now let's take a look at how to add column so for that we will do similar so let's create data frame that turn that into table values and one two three right and then y equals to three to one right then df percent greater than percent uh, add column then z equals to let's say minus one to one and then w equals to zero right and here you get the uh, let's say column added to your existing table so let's say if i had only these x y and if i wanted to add a z and w as columns so we added that for minus one to one and w to zero right so we have added row column and we modified the table we also forced vector to table with n frame d frame we also created table function with one of the uh, equation then we also checked and verified whether a table is table and also converted one of the tables also got the data set like iris and empty cast to convert it into table right so we have seen some of the typical operations that we can do with table now let's take a look at few final things i want to do explain on table now let's see if i have imported empty cars and iris so what we can do is we can also check whether those data set has row names so we'll use this function and we will call for empty cars and check whether it has a row name similarly we can also check um, it has column names so for that before going for that also checks for iris it has row names false right so iris doesn't have that but our empty cars does it right then there is also one more function which is has name right so empty cars and let's say if i want to check particular uh, name say cylinder is there within empty cars yes true so let's try to take a look at iris and whether iris has that simple dot length included within it true so pretty much we have seen row names has name functions as well so pretty much the basics we have covered with table in r so when you use it with tidyverse packages or deployer you will get to use few other depending on your set of data and the functions that you wish to use to modify or analyze the data.